start a recurring meeting and schedule just click on google chrome and type here zoom then you need to click here on this link and then first we need to sign in to schedule a meeting so sign in you need to write your email here and password and sign in now you will click on schedule a new meeting here so here uh, first option is topic so i will write grade 11a because i don't have any certain topic i want to schedule it for 11a so i am writing here 11a then you can write the description here and it's optional so it's upon you whether you want to write or you just leave it blank then we will go down and we will click on recurring meeting because we want to continue this meeting throughout the month or for long and then we have uh, here the recurrence in recurrence we have uh, four options daily weekly monthly these three option i'll discuss later right now i'm telling you about no fixed time so if you click on this the layout will slightly change there will be no timing here now we have two more options here generate meeting id generate automatically or personal meeting id i recommend to use this only generate automatically and do not use personal meeting id the reason is that when we give our personal id to anyone then anyone can enter in our meeting at any time for example if you have scheduled two different meetings with personal id and you think that you are changing the password and you are keeping different passwords but even then when you start something with personal id then anyone can enter in uh, in the meeting if you generate it automatically it it will have a customizable meeting id and the password is also customizable you can change from here also for example if i click on personal meeting you see immediately the password change to 1234 because this is the password which i often use with my personal meeting so whenever i schedule a personal meeting id then this password changes automatically so that's why i recommending you not to give this uh, personal meeting id to your students because then they can enter your meeting any time any day whenever you start a meeting with personal id they can come even if you change your password it will not uh, affect the link the link automatically upgrades with the password so if you change the password it it does not have any effect on entering the meet meeting so i recommend generate automatically yes you can uh, keep the password easier for the students if you want for example 4567 is the password or you can keep the password which uh, you have seen in the beginning any password you can keep then we have video host and participant uh, these are the simple options uh, if you want to keep the video on you can click on and if you want to uh, if you don't want to turn it off uh, on just click here then we have these uh, few options enable join before host never check this mute par participant upon entry uh if you want your student to be quiet not want them to speak anything in the beginning so just uh, keep them mute then we have enable waiting room this is very important option make sure to check it because then a student cannot enter uh, they will uh, first come in the waiting room there will be a permission you need to give them you need to click on the admit button and then uh, they will enter your uh, class so this is a good option then if you want to record the meeting you can click here and then you need to just to click on save now you have link here you can just click a uh, copy invitation link you can copy meeting invitation now you will go on google classroom to post it if you are using zoom and google classroom simultaneously and you want to post this link in a google classroom so the student can click on this link and they can take your class now one more important thing like this is casual for grade 11a only now if you want to schedule the same for grade 11b 10 8 and b or any other section which you are teaching or any grade which you are teaching make a separate link uh, and then uh, you can just po post it in their relative class make sure that uh, you uh, in the topic you write 11a or 10a or any class so you know for which class you are making the link so you uh, paste it in a correct way now we have code so we will open the google classroom now we have this google classroom so i locate my class to paste the link so i click here now this is the main stream page so we can click here 
and then uh, right click and paste or you can use uh, from the keyboard control V also to paste the link then I'll uh, remove this uh, initial part of it I'll press the delete button now I'll post this link now the student will be able to see this link so I'll ask the student to copy this link in their laptop or uh, in their mobile phone somewhere or email or whatsapp to themselves so uh, later on when they require it they can click on it now one more important thing is that whenever you post something here now you see this post is going down so the more posts uh, we have like your post uh, posting worksheets assignments and things so it will go down so what you can do after three four days or after a week you can click here reuse post and now you have all the posts so any post which you want to reuse you can reuse here but one important thing more that since I have removed the initial part so that's why it's written topic 11a recurring meeting but if you uh, see here this is Muhammad Suhail Khan inviting you to schedule zoom meeting all the text is same so you will not understand which meeting actually you want to reuse which post you know same goes for the assignments if you post the assignments with the same name for example if you are posting uh, something with math worksheet and again math worksheet or English worksheet or essay worksheet so when you are reusing it you will you won't be able to reuse this anywhere so it's better to always choose a proper name for example if you are giving simultaneous equation and you want the student to do with elimination method so write simultaneous equation just follow it by elimination method or substitution method same thing for if you want them to write any essays then mention the topic also like on which topic they are writing the essay so it's listed here so whenever you want to reuse the post after a week, two weeks, even after six months, you can use that post. So here uh, I want to reuse this post. So I'm clicking here and then clicking on reuse. Now my post is here. If you want to make any changes, you can make the changes also, but I want to paste as it is. So just clicking on post. Now you can see my post is here. This is my new post and this was the previous one. So in this way, you can post uh, on the mainstream page type any message for the students so this is uh, how you can uh, simultaneously use zoom and google classroom now i'll click on recurring meeting and now i have these more options here recurrence is daily i want to do it on the weekly basis so i click on weekly now monday is checked for example if my class is on monday Tuesday and Thursday and the time is same 9 o'clock so I can choose these three and I can schedule it but if I have different timing for example on Monday my class timing is 9 o'clock on Tuesday my class timing is 10 o'clock on Wednesday it's a different time and Thursday it's a different time so I have to check only one if you have same timing then you can check more for example uh, in this scenario if I have Monday uh, class timing 9 o'clock Tuesday 10 o'clock Wednesday 10 o'clock and Thursday 9 o'clock so I'm checking these two options here then how long I want this class so for example I want it till the 13th of July so I, I, I will select this uh, and now require meeting password so this is a very difficult password so i'll make it easier for the student 4567 for uh, for example and then if you want to keep the host video off and participant on so you can click here when the host will join his video will be off he can later on switch on the video but when the participant will join they will always enter with the video on now there are a few options which i have already discussed in schedule like enable join before host mute participant upon entry it's up on you how you manage it and but make sure to check this record the meeting automatically so the class or the meeting is record then you will click on save now your recurring meeting is meeting is scheduled see you please subscribe my channel for more informative videos